The African violet, also known as St. Paulia ionatha, is an herbaceous perennial that is part of the Generaceae family. African violets can be easily propagated via microculture, also known as tissue culture. According to Hartman and Kester's plant propagation, microculture is the ability to establish and maintain plant organs, including embryos, shoots, roots, and flowers, and plant tissues, cells, callus, and protoplasts, in an aseptic culture. After preparing a soapy wash, select a decent-sized African violet leaf and petiole. Next, agitate the soapy solution with your leaf and petiole. Sterilization is of the utmost importance when it comes to tissue culture, so make sure to do a good job. The next step is to prepare a 10% Clorox bleach, 90% sterilized water solution. This is used to disinfest the leaf and petiole. The tissue must be disinfested for 15 minutes exactly. This is an extremely important step. If left in for too long, the explant tissue will be killed off by the bleach. If pulled out too early, the risk of having contaminated tissue increases significantly. Next, make sure to use a laminar hood. Utilizing a laminar hood will greatly reduce the risk of contamination. Make sure to sterilize the laminar hood desk with some sort of disinfectant, such as bleach. Once again, cleanliness is of the utmost importance when it comes to tissue culture, so make sure to do a thorough job. In addition to sterilizing the laminar desk work area, also make sure to sterilize your tools. Make sure not to heat up your tools too much, otherwise you will cauterize the plant material. Once your tools are sterilized, unwrap several petri dishes. The use of the peas tree dishes will range from cutting stages to actual in vitro propagation containers. Gel medium to encourage growth, such as BA and NAA, can also be added to these petri dishes. Once you've transported your explants to the laminar hood desk, perform a 1-2-3 water rinse on your leaf and petiole. This will remove any leftover bleach from the disinfestation stage. Using your sterilized scalpel, remove all damaged tissue from the leaf and petiole. Then, cut the leaf and petiole into one centimeter sections. For the leaf explant, place each section onto the surface of the medium and spread out evenly. For the petioles, make sure to place onto the medium on the sides and spread out evenly across as well. Also, use the sterilized forceps to make sure that each plant piece has a solid contact with the medium. Next, wrap the peachy plates with parafilm in order to create an airtight seal. This will prevent contamination once placed in the incubator. Finally, place the finished plates in an incubator under the lights. After several weeks, your tissue culture should look something a little like this. If parts of your tissue culture have become infested, do not fear. The unharmed explants can easily be transplanted into another petri dish and placed back into the incubator. Take the same precautions when transplanting the unharmed explants. Again, remember that cleanliness is of the utmost importance.
When finished transplanting, place back into the incubator and leave until significant root and shoot growth has occurred. Finally, plant your explants into some sort of moist soil medium. On an end note, African violets hold an aesthetic beauty that few houseplants are able to match. This makes African violet propagation a big and lucrative business. That being said, it is important to know how to use tissue culture, as it is by far the most efficient way of propagating the plant, as a few small pieces of tissue can give yield to many plantlets.